Ashley, you know, two of the three suspects, uh, Brittany Hopper and David White, are in the Justice Center behind me here tonight. After spending time in court this morning, a separate appearance before a judge is expected soon for the third suspect in this case, Brittany Hopper's sister, Kelsey. Through this car's passenger side window, Josh Spring sees behavior that raises more questions than answers. Why do people, why did this group, these three people, uh, and why have other people felt, uh, you know, I, I just want to go out and uh, shoot at somebody, so I'm going to, you know, I'm going to choose this person who's sleeping on a sidewalk. Spring, a longtime advocate for people who are homeless in Cincinnati, is glad this surveillance video, combined with tips from the public, led to the arrest of Brittany Hopper, her sister Kelsey, and David White. We're glad that the general public seems to be in agreement that what was done is, is wrong and unacceptable. During Brittany Hopper's hearing, city prosecutor Sue Zerfus described the nature of the crimes Hopper is now facing. Your Honor, this involves six separate um, victims in this case in which she was driving around and shooting at them. She was using a BB gun um, at the time to shoot with them. However, she did cause injury to numerous people during this event. Based on the assault charges, the judge set Hopper's bond at $12,000. For Josh Spring, understanding what motivates someone to target a person living on the streets is critical in investigations like the one that's now unfolding. When folks are caught and asked why, oftentimes the answer folks give is, what does it matter? It's just a homeless person. Now, in addition to bond being set for Brittany Hopper, the judge said David White's bond at around $16,000. That's based on a number of assault charges and an unrelated domestic violence charge. Both he and Brittany Hopper pleaded not guilty today in court to misdemeanor assault charges. They're due back before a judge in about two weeks' time. Reporting live tonight outside the Justice Center, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5. Todd, did the suspects who appeared in court today offer any kind of defense? You know, actually, in addition to those not guilty pleas, their attorneys did uh, share some personal information as they requested a lower bond amount. In Brittany Hopper's case, her attorney said the 29-year-old is unemployed and on unemployment because of the pandemic, also that she cares for her and her sister's children. As for David White, his attorney said the 30-year-old is a graduate of Taft High School and is a single father with two kids. Ashley.